Hello and welcome to another official Hyperspin tutorial with the AV Archivist. Today we'll learn how to assign new intro videos and other core front-end media like menu sounds, transitions, and general UI artwork. One of my favorite things to add to Hyperspin is a clean, professional intro video. It's a great way to add just the right touch to your setup. There are some fantastic fan creations in the internet, and if you have a knack for graphic design, animation, and video editing, you can even create your own personalized intro. In the description below you'll find links to pages on Emu Movies and the Hyperspin forums where you can find a number of different intros. Either MP4 or FLV video format will work. The video you choose will be stretched to fill the screen, so it's ideal to use one with an aspect ratio that matches that of your display. Since my display has a 16x9 aspect ratio, I'm going to choose a short, clean, high def video that I made for the occasion. Once you've found the right video for you, incorporating it into Hyperspin is a breeze. Just head to your Hyperspin, Media, Front End, Video folder. Here you'll find intro.flv. Either delete it or move it to a backup folder, put your own video in its place, then without altering the extension change the file name to intro, like so. If you left the intro turned on in HyperHQ from the last episode, your video will play automatically every time you launch Hyperspin. You can use these same basic principles to customize any aesthetic, video, audio, or artwork that exists within Hyperspin, including all of the other core front-end media. Once you're aware of this, Hyperspin's overall media folder structure becomes much more intuitive. To demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and customize the rest of the front-end media to my personal taste for this Hyperspin build. Since we're already in the front-end video folder, I'm also going to replace the No Video file with one I've made custom for my setup. Next, I'm going to go into the Transitions folder, which contains all of the general video transitions that sometimes play when you're navigating your wheel. It's important to understand that all of Hyperspin's video transitions are currently made for cabs with a 4x3 aspect ratio, so they don't look quite as nice on a 16x9 display. Personally, I find transitions a bit flashy, and they look better with some themes than others, so I'm going to disable them altogether from my setup by moving them to a backup folder. Next, let's head into our Hyperspin Media Front End Images folder, where we'll find all of the artwork elements used by our Exit and Favorites screens. Again, the default Hyperspin front-end media is for 4x3 displays. In the description below you'll find a link to the download section where I've uploaded a high-definition 16x9 widescreen version of this official artwork. For my setup, I've created some custom elements of my own. Once again, all we need to do to install them is to place them in this folder with the correct names, either backing up or deleting the original files. Finally, let's head to our Hyperspin Media front-end sounds folder which contains the simple clicks and swooshes we hear when we navigate. I like these sounds, so I'm going to leave mine alone. If you want to customize yours, you can do so by replacing the MP3s with ones of your own, being sure the names match what you see here. What I will deactivate, however, and this is again personal preference, are the wheel game sounds that play when spinning the main menu, as I find they get a little noisy. I'm going to do this by opening HyperHQ and heading to the Wheel Settings, Main Menu, Sounds tab, and unchecking Enable Wheel Game Sounds. If you don't like click sounds, you can disable them for each individual wheel as well, or you can simply remove the mp3 files we were just looking at. That's all there is to it. You now know how to customize Hyperspin's general front-end aesthetics. This knowledge and understanding will be further applied in the next tutorial in the series when we finally learn how to download and customize artwork, video, and themes for any system in our setup. I hope you found this guide helpful. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.